Good morning, everybody. It is 7.02. And it looks like we're getting the rain back today. Pretty slow here at the rest area last night. And this morning, it looks like. A camper over there. A little chilly this morning at 65 degrees. Got the furnace going. Got the PC going, doing some video editing. Volts uh, got those down to almost 12 1, which is pretty hard to do. I was up all night, um, not sleeping, of course, um, but running the PC and running my Xbox even for the first time. I wanted to try playing some games, which are not very, uses a bit of power, but I just, something I didn't really do before to try and relax is try some gaming. So I was using the power all night. It was great. I'm planning this morning to get the furnace going and get some videos edited. Alright, time to cook up some chicken. So the most important or Motivation. I'm starting to feel a little burnt out now, but I need to eat before I go back to bed or else I'm going to wake up starving and not feeling good because it's been a little while since I... Well, I haven't had breakfast yet and it's 1.39, so... You gotta at least make lunch. I lay down. Absolutely loving this setup. I am so happy with the batteries and the power. It's all doing great. I got my broccoli cut up and washed. Chicken is done. So I'll chop up some chicken, put it in a burrito. Chicken, broccoli, and carrot, and ranch. Oh, good old refrigerator truck. That'll keep you. I'll keep the sleep from happening. I've. I feel like I'm always saying this, but it's, I feel like I've never been this tired before. Getting like 30 minutes of sleep a night. I'm working out in RV park. It's. I'm gonna go to an RV park. That I know of just over the bridge in Oregon. It's pretty cheap. There's no power. Pretty much just storage, but they let you live in your RV. Bunch of other RVers there though, so I won't feel too left out or too out of place. It's by a river. Looks really pretty. Peaceful. I got a weird headache. I don't feel good. I just really don't feel good. I don't know how to, know how to put into words these feelings that I feel. It's just bad. I don't feel good. And hopefully figure out something after that to keep me in RV parks or at least have them as an end destination. If I want to travel, I want to be able to go some miles and then stop at the next RV park. I'm not staying in parking lots or rest stairs anymore. This is so loud. It's been so loud. This, it's like, it's not the busiest I've seen it. It's just a lot of, just a, a lot of bad luck with refrigerator trucks and 
maybe being parked right in the middle of the lot here. It has a lot of come and go traffic. Not that I mind, I love these semi trucks, I like the ambience. The uh of the trucks anyway, those those refrigerator trailers are horrible. And the one last night was kicking on and off automatically. It was Jesus. Yeah, I can't even I'm in the middle of a project. Some other things I need to do. I can't do anything. All I can do is get up, eat a little bit, and lay down. It's 1221. Still here at the rest area. Got a good three hours of sleeping. And I'm just, uh, I want to get one more nap. I'm still not feeling good enough to drive, so I might be here another night before I have the energy to head out. Got the main engine going since the batteries are down to 12 1. Still at the rest area. Still no sleep. So, and uh, not getting any solar either, so I'm having to run the engine. And I think it's going to have to run a long time, probably all night. Since uh, I tried running a little bit earlier just to see what it was going to take to charge up the batteries just a little bit. It took a long time, so. Yeah, these are gonna just guesstimating probably six to eight hours to charge these. I don't know. So I will let it run on the big engine for a while, and when the batteries get charged up, maybe halfway, I'll try going on to the smaller generator. If I felt like running the main cord all the way back, I could use the big generator, but that thing's kind of loud. So I'm just gonna run the big gen. Uh, big engine not having any luck with that RV park I heard about they're apparently full now so I kind of uh, RV park doesn't sound like it's gonna work out I got on their waiting list but they are full now I waited too long to call them it's been like a couple weeks I just I was down in Oregon I didn't get back in time, so that chance of that. So maybe I'll just do twenty dollar a day. If I just stick to twenty dollar a day or twenty dollar a night RV parks, I can have a place to stay for six hundred a month ish. I mean, I can take off and go to town for a couple days and save me money that way. So maybe I could just stay uh, five days at a time, travel for three days, stay for five days. I don't know gonna just see how it all works out still learning my myself and how I'm reacting to all this I'm trying to get used to it I go have my up and downs whether or not I think I am or not I, I mean being on the road 100 24 7 is never going to work so I do need to find some kind of regiment where I'm stopping to take breaks so I'm gonna burn up a bunch of my gas hopefully get the batteries charged Thing to note this just clicked off for probably a second one second exactly uh, stopped charging so I don't know if that's the start of a problem it's getting too hot or if that's actually um, because it's been charging for so long part of it I don't know maybe it's got a charging it's supposed to have some kind of circuitry in it though it hasn't acted like it but I didn't know. I just thought I'd make note of that just in case it burns up later. Blue light turned off for one second. You hear it click, and then click back on. It is pretty hot. Not super, super hot. These are super hot. 
not sizzling hot, but yeah, that's about as long as I can hold my hand on there. Yeah, pretty hot. Also, to note, I do believe I started around 6.40. I'm going to cut off, I think, uh, uh, as late as 10. See what the volts do, but... As late as 10, I had a truck pull up. I was running this when there was no one here, but now there's a truck here, so... I don't want to be a bad neighbor. Can't help it. I need to charge my batteries, but... see what the volts do. Maybe I'll try switching over to the smaller generator. I know it's going to have a hard time with that, with this new battery bank. I'm going to have to run the big generator, but that's pretty noisy too. It's kind of a toss-up. keep forgetting I got these little awesome little guys now so I just decided to give my transmission fluid another check last time I looked at it uh, it was a little low up at the ranch so uh, we're sitting here charging up batteries So nice not having that passenger seat there. Take that doghouse right off. That's just about perfect. try and sleep again so I'm gonna shut down got to 13.7 I feel like that's maybe about halfway probably maybe not quite okay so let's tap the throttle so it revs down or else it'll diesel to go all the way so they got a good full first charge but I think they'll be good enough for tonight I'm just gonna have to finish it off in the morning when I take off from here I need to get my mail I got some more stuff showed up and uh, I need to figure out an RV place to go Still didn't get a full charge. 